So about 10 years ago when I came from Texas out to uh, the small town, I was trying to get this church kind of restarted and ended up doing a lot of volunteerism. I signed up for Kiwanis. I was with man, the local college. I was doing some mentoring with some young people there, volunteering at the homeless shelter, went to youth prison and volunteered there, doing all kinds of volunteer work, giving, 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 giving. And I didn't realize it at the time. I really felt stuck and I didn't know what to do. And I think as a kind of when I feel, start feeling that way, I'll start experimenting with different things. Like, okay, what can I try and try this? Does it feel good? Does it work? And what I ended up doing is I started this challenge for myself. I was like, I have so much, like there's so much stuff around me that I have that's not bringing me joy, but also that is consuming my time. And I, I had shirts, I had like stuff outside. There was like so many things in my life that were discombobulated, I think is a good word for it, right? And so I started a 30 day challenge for myself. It was just for me. And I don't remember if I shared it like widely or anything, but I just kind of did a, a video journal of me getting rid of things for 30 days. And it started really small. I didn't know what I was gonna do each day. I was just kind of, like winging it. And through that process of creating different prompts, different ideas for myself, different things to get rid of or try or do, that process of experimentation was born this idea of, or this you know project that I have now called the 60 Days of Release and Capture. It wasn't something that I found packaged, but it was something that I created uh, out of a need. And so I want to share that with you if you feel stuck, if you feel like there's a lot of either bloat in your life or there's you feel like you're overcommitted uh, or if you feel like you have too much stuff here or too many things there or you don't feel organized enough. This isn't the magic of tidying up, but um, I, I, you know, obviously kudos to Marie Kondo and all the work that she's done. This isn't minimalism either. It's not that and kudos to people that, that choose that type of a lifestyle. But if you're feeling trapped or stuck or immobilized or overburdened or just maxed out uh, with time commitments, energy commitments, and all the things that, that come at us in our lives, this is the, the process or the experiment for you. And it really is an experiment. This isn't something that you're just going to do and um, you know, check off this box, check off this box. This is genuinely like, try this thing, see if it feels good. Try this and see if it feels good. Try giving up this or try getting rid of this. And, and it's also self-directed, right? So you've got these prompts that tell you this is what to do this day. Like these, this is the general idea, but I'm not coming in your room or in your closet or in your house and saying, this is the specific item, the specific thing you have to get rid of. It requires you to really kind of do some introspection and think through and, and understand what works for you, what hasn't been working, what isn't working. So this requires a little bit of, you know, self direction and some time to really think through this stuff. So it's really intentional. It's beautiful. It's powerful. And I encourage you to join us in the journey.